What is going on guys? It is Fatal River Day bringing you a video and today we're doing a video on my headset. Thought I would uh, do a review on it. So if you haven't already guys, hit that like button, subscribe and smack the notification bell. We're approaching a thousand subscribers and a thousand subscribers. I will be doing a, a quick giveaway to one lucky comment and we will choose it randomly and I'll be doing a giveaway. So with that being said guys, let's get into this video. So these are the Astro A20s. Now, most people uh, do like Astros. I've heard a lot about them. Um, let me get my other headset real quick. So this is the other headset that I've had and been playing with. I've been playing with a Turtle Beach. This is strictly for PC. You can get this at Walmart, Target, uh, other places, etc. cetera. Um, this was just like a cheap kind of $60 headset made for PC only. It's been a really great headset and I'll Really, uh, I'll probably be keeping this and still using it from time to time just for game volume. The microphone is pretty bad and it's gotten where it just is really, really uh, buzzy and loud. So really only the headphones work. But let's go ahead and get to the main thing here. We'll be getting to the Astro A20s. So here they are. These are the Astros A20s. And the first thing you're going to know that just, it just, now some people think they look kind of cheap. And when I'll be honest, when I first pulled them out, I was a little skeptical because they kind of, they, they first they kind of looked the, the plastic on it kind of looked uh cheap to you know to a point but i've really had so just so good experience for these headset um i will say this is the box it comes in it's going to come in a box now they're mainly made for uh ps4 uh xbox and pc do make sure if you do get them there will be a link in the description below on Amazon, but do make sure that you are getting the right one. So like this one's for PS5, PS4, PC, and Mac. Make sure you're getting the right one. Like if you're getting for Xbox, make sure it is Xbox. It'll give you an option when you're going to purchase it. So let's go ahead and get the box out of the way. When you first get it, this is the little adapter that's gonna come with. All you simply do is click the button. So when you plug it in the USB, after it registers and everything's, uh, it'll update probably the USB drivers for it and everything like that. All you gotta do now, it's gonna show two indications. It's going to be a white and a blue. If it's blue, it means it's connect. It's wanting to connect for a PS4. Do make sure if you do are playing PC, I learned this the hard way because I didn't understand. Make sure when you plug it up, you do tap the little button. It should turn white for PC. It's white for PC, blue for PS4. Pretty good, uh, easy indication. So let's go ahead and look at it. So here's the mic right here on the side, on your left side. It does tell you which one's left and right, right in here. In between the headset, it'll say, I have a little R indication right here and then the L for the left one. The first thing I'm going to tell you guys about this headset, it's really, really comfy. Now, the other headset I have was okay, I guess, but these are just really, really comfy. Like when you put them on your head, I will say they're just very, very comfy. I don't really have any like, uh, you know, kind of hurting of my ears or anything like that or on my head. The other ones kind of did. I would get some tightening. Sometimes it would actually pull some of my hair, like when you uh, were to, you know, extend it or make it uh, where it could, you know, fit on your head. I would sometimes get that part stuck in my hair. This part, I don't really have that problem. It just easily, you know, moves and I don't have any issues with that. Again, they're very, very comfy. Now, we'll go ahead and tell you that the sound quality on the mic is pretty bad. Um, not trying to kind of, you know, damper it down or anything, but the mic quality isn't the best. Uh, a lot of people have had that issue. I've heard that the mic quality isn't the best. It's, it's decent. It's better than the Turtle Beach one over there. Is it as good as like my a recording mic, the recording mic I use? Probably not, but for just regular, if you're just playing regular games and stuff, um, I would say it's completely okay. The main thing about these headsets that most people go for, and I myself, is the sound quality. The sound quality is unbelievable on Astros, and it is on these two. I've never had any issues. The sound sounds so crystal clear and just so... It's it's loud, but it's not loud where it hurts your ears. Like the other ones, I feel like I would have to blare to even hear anything, and it would almost hurt because the la it was so loud. These, though, they're loud, but it's just good, good volume and uh, good hearing on it. This is the volume button around here. You got your volume button, volume down for uh, game and voice. We got the... Power button right here. This is the connecting button. This is the indication that it does turn on right there. If it's blinking like that, it means the adapter is not plugged up. So you would have to plug the adapter up. And I'll go ahead and plug it up over here. And once it plugs up, it'll, uh, again, it'll pull, it'll automatically turn on PC if it's connected to a PC or a PS4. You would just push the button and it should change colors and then it should just be a solid white color indicating that it is connected. 
here is the charging port for it. Now, that's one thing I did want to stress on the end of this video, guys, for you. The charging port is just... I've never had any issues. I literally put this thing on a charger maybe for 30 minutes to an hour, if that, and I've never had it say low battery. I have never had it turn off on me or go low battery, and I, I play at least probably Modern Warfare, Call of Duty, uh, Fortnite sometimes for about two or three hours a night if, you know, when I get a chance, and I've never had them die or anything on me. But now, if you're going for more hardcore gaming, like gaming for eight plus hours, I know some people do game that long and stuff like that, uh, you may have to put it on the charger and give it a little bit. Other than that, though, I've never had any problems with them. They're really great. Uh, the next portion of the video is going to be a sound quality test. What is going on, guys? Is Fatal Weaver Day. This is the one test, mic test, on the Astro A20s. So there should be a picture indicating what I'm uh, recording with. This is the mic quality of the Astro A20s. The next portion is going to be of the Turtle Beach, so Turtle Beach mic quality versus the Astro A20s. What is going on guys? It's Federal Dipper Day. This is, of course, the mic test on the uh, Turtle Beaches versus the Astros, so you can kind of compare and contrast. I just wanted to do this at the end of the video, that way you guys could hear the sound quality of the microphone. Uh, I did say sound quality and I meant of the microphones. This is the microphone if you were talking in game chat or anything like that on Discord. Uh, you can do different things like on uh, voice meter and stuff like that with the different mics, but this is the sound quality of the Turtle Beach. Should be a picture right there uh, for the indication and versus the Astros. So Astros, by far, uh, the sound quality as far as listening in game is so much better. But uh, the mic quality, you can be the test for that for yourself. So thanks guys for watching. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.